Unsurprisingly, the AI token grift isn't going away. About a year ago, I started making clips exposing the total shitcoin grift that is AI. Because, of course, artificial intelligence does not require a token in any way, shape, or form as evidenced by all of the AI implementations that are currently out in the wild right now and being used. There is not a single person paying for an AI service with some type of crypto. But unfortunately, the VC money and the institutions, they don't care. They are going to shove this down your throat. Well, I figured, you know what, since we're one of the few channels that expose this garbage, why not continue exposing it? Let's take a look at Grayscale's new offering, BitTensor. I know, I know, these, these clips, they don't, they don't get the clicks and views. It's, it's not the hopium. It doesn't make you feel the warm and fuzzies. I apologize, but you know what? I do this show because I enjoy talking about specific things, and this is one of the specific things I enjoy talking about, which is debunking these ridiculous, nonsensical projects that do not require a token. And I also, I really enjoy uh, unmasking the uh, the uh, the double speak that uh, a lot of these marketers like to do. So, anyways, as I said before, Grayscale rolled out its uh, trust a new two new trust products. Okay, for Sui and BitTensor, but we're going to be focusing on BitTensor. And uh, for the people who don't know what BitTensor is, it is a DAO. Uh, so in other words, it's a it's another shitcoin it's, that has a governance token. And of course, they are going to fix and promote AI. So who are the people behind BitTensor? Well, we've got Digital Currency Group, which is also the company that owns Grayscale Trust, right? So Grayscale just came out with an ETF for this shit coin, okay? Or they're planning to come out with an ETF for this shit coin. And at the same time, look at that. They're one of the biggest investors in the project. Okay, so so is GSR, so is Polychain Capital. And for the people who don't know who Polychain Capital, Polychain Capital and A16Z are probably the two biggest VC firms that push shit coins and all of this ridiculous altcoin nonsense instead of building on Bitcoin. And of course, I, I always enjoy hearing the rebuttal, but what are you talking about? A16Z invested in like one project in Lightning. Okay, so look, just because just because these, um, these institutions throw a couple of crumbs uh, in the direction of Bitcoin, it doesn't mean that they're Bitcoiners or that they support Bitcoin, okay? All that has to do with is perception right? They get to sit there and say, what are you talking about? We're, we're not just investing in garbage. Look here, we've given so-and-so amount of money to Bitcoin. It's just nonsensical pandering and virtue signaling. Anyways, anyways, let's continue on with BitTensor. So, okay, we know who the players are, who gave the money. That's fantastic. Let's let's continue on. Now, the, the next part of this is it's got to be sold, right? That there's, there's got to be a reason why you need this. There needs to be a story that makes you think this is going to be huge and I can't miss out. Well, here I go, guys. So in the past, obtaining BitTensor's token was limited to mining mid-tier exchanges and over-the-counter markets. However, the recent listing of Tao on Binance and Crypto.com marks a significant milestone for the project, propelling it into a new phase of accessibility uh, bag holders and visibility. Currently, BitTensor boasts a market cap nearing $3.7 billion, indicating growing confidence and interest in its potential. This particular article that I'm looking at is from April 15th. And of course, guys, all of this stuff is in the show notes, so you can verify my sources. But so keep in mind, right? This is April fifteenth. They've just they they've just gotten new exchange listings, right? And now here we are in August, and Grayscale is promoting a trust with this shitcoin. Okay, so this is this is the marketing. You're seeing the marketing roll out. But wait, there's more. 
Anyways, Jacob Steves, the visionary founder of BitTensor, expressed his excitement over the validation of his project in a recent interview with Fortune. Steves, who initiated work on BitTensor back in 2015, now here we go, this is, this is where you're going to get sucked into the credibility, okay? He sees the rise of centralized AI tools from industry giants like OpenAI, Google, and Meta as affirmations of, Bis, of BitTensor's mission. Now, keep in mind, BitTensor claims to be decentralized, right? And of course, he's coming in as the white knight that's going to fix this centralized AI tool problem by introducing a shitcoin. Continuing on with the marketing, while BitTensor may not enjoy the same level of mainstream recognition, now keep in mind, this is, make, this is meant to make you think that it's undiscovered. Nobody knows. There's huge potential here. Anyways, as some AI-backed crypto ventures, such as WorldCoin, everybody's heard of that, right? Everybody's heard of Sam Altman. It has quietly attracted significant support from the VC community, and this is why we need to sell it to you so that we can dump our bags. There's VC money in this, and they need to get their investment back. So it's time to sell it to the unknowing noob. Anyways, Polychain, under the leadership of early Coinbase employee Olaf Carlson Wee, has been instrumental in incubating BitTensor. So that's interesting, right? Polychain, one of the main investors, also at the same time holding a major investment in Tao. So look at that, right? They're marketing it. They're heavily invested in it. Anyways, investments from Entities like Digital Currency Group, founded by Barry Silbert, further underscore the confidence in BitTensor's potential. That's right, guys. They put money into this thing. This thing does nothing right now. And they need to extract their value out of this token before the jig is up. And I'm going to show you how the jig ends up ending because we're going to go back to that video that I filmed, uh, that, sorry, that I recorded um, last year. OK, about uh, Aptos Labs, right, this new AI. And we're going to see just how Aptos has performed over the year. Anyways, let's continue on because the sales, the sales and marketing pitch for this garbage is not done yet. The last piece of the marketing, and this is always my favorite, right, because essentially what has to happen with these shitcoins is they have to borrow their credibility from Bitcoin. I've said this in the past. Every single shitcoin exists by virtue of being able to draw and pull credibility from Bitcoin. Every shitcoin gets to point to Bitcoin and see, look, say, look what Bitcoin did. If we just do a little bit of that, you know, if we just get some adoption, some people may use it. It's always the same thing. It's borrowing that credibility just to dump on noobs. But this is one of my favorite ones uh, that they did, uh, this chart, right? The BitTensor versus Bitcoin chart. And this is the fun part, right? So Bitcoin is decentralized sound money, fights the government fiat. You own real money, okay? So right here, again, it's perception, right? The, these, the, the people that are shilling this crap, I, I mean, this uh, product, they understand Bitcoin. They can't be scamming, right? They understand Bitcoin. So next, we compare that to BitTensor. Decentralized, incentivized AI. What? Fights centralized AI. What? You own transparent AI. What? I don't even know what owning transparent AI is. And the interesting part about the decentralized, incentivized AI and the fighting centralization part of it is this. Back on July 3rd, the BitTensor blockchain was placed into safe mode due to a multi-million dollar wallet drain. That's right, rug pull hack. Oh my gosh, we're so surprised. Another shitcoin rug pull. But that's not the that's not the juicy part of this whole thing. This is the juicy part of this whole thing. The Open Tensor Foundation, the team behind the BitTensor artificial intelligence centric crypto project confirmed that the blockchain had been placed in safe mode. How, the, like, what planet are you on where a centralized team placed the entire network in safe mode and you're gonna brag about being decentralized and fighting centralization? It's a clown show, guys. This is a total clown show. Anyways, for the, the final piece to this, right? Let's go and let's go back in time, like I said, and we're going to take a look at that project, right? Because we, we all want to hold ourselves accountable. So let's go take a look at that blockchain project. And you can see right here from the chart that I'm showing you, okay? 
you can see right here in 2023, there was a pump, right? There was a pump and then it dumped. And then at the bottom, at the bottom, they started writing articles, which was at the time that I made my video clip debunking it when it was at the bottom around September 23rd, uh, sorry, September, 2023, they put out more articles hyping it up, and there it went into 2024 to another pump. And now here we are, guys, all the way at the bottom, and Aptos completely dumped, okay? And the icing on the cake is this. The icing on the cake is that it has no max supply. It's infinite supply. So if the price goes up enough, they're just going to make a whole bunch more and dump their bags right on your head. You know, I, I actually get the meanest, I get the meanest comments when I dump on shit coins and it's so funny. Like people come in and they try to tell me about how Bitcoin is hijacked and they try to tell me how I'm wrong about the shit coins and they pull out their little short term charts and are like, well, Bitcoin didn't punk, pump 25% in the last three weeks. My little shit coin did hold your shit coin long enough. You're going to go to zero. Okay. The reality is many of these people love to pretend that they've bought the bottom and sold the tops, but really all they are are just angry, bitter bag holders that they didn't trust their gut and just buy and hold and accumulate Bitcoin. Guys, the grifts, we know they're not going to end. I love exposing them. Uh, this BitTensor shitcoin, don't be surprised when it goes the way of every single other shitcoin. It has a foundation. The foundation controls the network. AI does not need a shitcoin in order to perform its function or service. I actually use AI when I'm making shorts. And believe it or not, I know it's going to sound crazy. I pay for this service. Hear me out. I pay for it with USD. Now, if they accepted Bitcoin, I would also pay them in Bitcoin if I could. Okay? That's the point. That's the point, though, right? They are offering this service, and they didn't create a token in order for me to pay for this service because it's, it's just completely fucking useless. These people are offering me value. They're providing a service that I want, and I am willing to pay them for that service so they don't need to make a shit coin in order to create a bunch of exit liquidity so that they can monetize their offering, which has no use case. That's all I wanted to talk about today, guys. I'll catch you tomorrow.